Oh. Wow, yes. I'm pleased to say that they finally did find their way to the studio. Please welcome Kelly Brook and Jeremy Parisi. <laughs> Off and yeah. Welcome. I mean, Kelly's obviously been here many times, but welcome. Your Thank first you. time on this. <laughs> it's my first time, yes. We're delighted to, to meet you and to have watched. I mean, I watched the first show um, last week. I have to ask you first, because Kelly obviously is used to doing all these TV shows. Yes. Did she have to convince you or did you straight away think, yeah, I love the idea of this? I think I was quite happy to do it. I wanted to do something with my wife, this kind of experience, because we, in London we got a routine every day like normal life, yeah. and I wanted something more adventurous. Oh, and this is adventurous. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it was. I mean, yes. Kelly, I just roared, because obviously we know you. Yeah. It was your little face. Sometimes it's like, I'm sorry, and how long is that? <laughs> how long is that coach trip? <laughs> 14 hours. And you're like... <laughs> Did you expect it to be as hard as it was? Well, I, we sat and watched the last celebrity series, and we watched Harry Judd and his mum on a train mm. going through Europe, which was probably six hours. She's knitting, he's having a coffee. And I said, Jeremy, like, it's not going to be that bad. <laughs> Cut to us in South America on a bus for, like, 26 hours. Yeah. With, oh. like, imagine that, like, 200 people on one toilet. And they take on everything bus. off you. It yeah. is yeah. a grim, yeah. everything. Yeah. everything. No, no phones. Phones. Where did you start on your journey? We start in Berlin. Yeah, in Berlin. North yeah. Brazil. Yeah, mm -hmm. North Brazil. Yeah. And you went all the way... Can I... You can't spoil it? No, no, yeah, no, no spoilers. We, it's basically the Amazon to the Andes. So we right. start in Berlin yeah, and right. we end up in Chile. And oh, how yeah. did this affect your relationship? Because you, you know, like, you know, you say you know a person when they're either really hungry or haven't had any sleep or whatever. How did this affect your relationship? Well, I think Jeremy, as you can see, is very competitive from the first episode and I'm much more for the experience. And I think that's the beauty of this race is that you're always kind of like race versus experience. And so if you sat on a bus for 26 hours, all you want to do is get to a beach or see something. I think, OK, well, it was worth it. But Jeremy didn't care. Like, he just wanted to get to win. I wanted to win. But yeah, I'm I... on your side. Exactly. You've got to do it, Totally. Oh, really? Yeah. But it's, so you got off the bus and you said, right, we're just carrying on. Yeah. 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 What did she say? Did she lose it? We can't say yet. I can't say that. Yeah, you can. Oh, so you got, can. I've seen that bit. No, yeah. no. <laughs> well, listen, obviously we can't say, because it, it's all done, OK? So yeah. you can't say how you got on, but we obviously have seen that. But you could see, Jeremy, you're, I mean, you're a, a, an athlete, you're a judo champion. Um, so I could see that competitive side. But then it's all about compromise, like Kelly yeah, said, yeah. with your relationship. It's like you can't just be the one going, come on, come on, yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. She's going, hang on, they're beautiful mm. things over here. So you have to find that in your relationship. Do you have that anyway? Be good at compromising. I think we are good to compromise, but before the race, I never saw once could be a problem for my relationship with Kelly because we are together since 10 years. Yeah. So we had all kind of experience. And uh, yeah, no, it was not a big yeah, problem. Yeah, so that was kept hold of the budget. Jeremy. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, the mad thing is, is that I'm quite a dominant character and I'm very loud and I want to be heard. But Jeremy is like the quietly in Sensible control. One. He's mm -hmm. the one that was in control of the whole thing. Like mm. we were moving. Yeah. Even if I you know, ranted and screamed <laughs> and cried and, and I did everything, trust me, to get a room upgrade. <laughs> I did. I mean, at one point, like, I did everything. And he just, if I wanted to go to the loo, I had to ask him for 10p for the bus no, station. No, because we have to pay. So... Yeah, you have to oh, pay yeah. for everything. So, so I had very little say over the money. Yeah. I wasn't really in charge of that. We kind of, Jeremy was like the calculator and I was the compass, and that's kind of how we worked it. Mm. That's a nice way of looking at it. And I said, we're not allowed to say actually how everyone's done, but we have been given very kindly an exclusive clip of tomorrow night's episode. I haven't even seen this yet. No. They've just told me. So let's have a look. Ideally, we want to get the first bus out at 9 o'clock to drive down to the coast today, but we have to get money to be able to continue our race. We're moving at that pace. Yeah. We're going to keep making those mistakes. We're on the same side, though. I know we're on the same side. The fact is, we were so desperate to race and get on the road, we're now walking around a city we don't know, Yeah. trying to find a bank. It's not far, just a few thousand blocks down. Mm, oh, this is bleak. This isn't the beach. Definitely not the beach. <laughs> it's not the beach. <laughs> 
it's really, really hard. I mean, our advantage, that Jeremy's English is Jeremy's third language. He speaks French, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese. No. Like, he can speak everything. <laughs> that is happening. And it just showed me up so much, because I just barely speak English, really badly. <laughs> and it just, go, it just helped us so much, didn't but it? But yeah. tried to learn Italian. She knows something. <laughs> I can understand little bits, but not very much, but not enough to be able to communicate. And that really is everything. Like, nobody speaks English where we were. Like, they mm. put you in the middle of nowhere mm -hmm. with no yeah. money. What about having your phone taken away? So they take away all your technology. Yeah. You literally mm. have a map and a GPS yeah. tracker. And we're all glued to our phones now. How mm. did you feel just handing that over? Just the thought to give my phone to somebody was quite weird at the beginning. Yeah. And the first day, I was quite fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we didn't miss it. Really. No. When they give us back the phone, I didn't want my phone straight away. You didn't? Oh, no, I wanted to wait. Yeah, it was really interesting. What so, did wow. you miss the most, though? About my phone? No, in ah, general. My dog. Oh. <laughs> I've got a little dog. Oh. That was the hardest thing, even like to go away for that long. Yeah, like, yeah to find helping. a way to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was oh, the oh, hardest. Oh, 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 see, see my dog. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was really hard. Yeah. But is it true you're going to make another TV series together? Yes, you, this is this is all for Jeremy, really. This is uh, his farm in Italy. Yeah, I come from a little farm in Italy yeah. where we do olive oil, and um, I want to show to my wife the Italian experience, like in a farm, like basic. Oh, mm. oh my that's is, beautiful. Yeah, my family is there since twenty generations. <laughs> wow. What sort of farm? It's like uh, olive oil, like uh, olive animals, oil. everything. Every yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. I hope there's a beach near it, or she <laughs> You need to draw one hour. Oh, wow. Yeah, they, does that mean you have to speak Italian all the time? Um, I'll have to learn Italian have to learn, because yeah. none of the, nobody in your family speaks English. No. So, yeah, they have an olive oil factory. They farmed olive oil for um, 600 years. So when we go and visit, it's very rural. And uh, so I guess that kind of prepared me for race a yeah. little bit because we did stay in some yeah. pretty yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like rustic places. Yeah. But, um, but I think being with Jeremy's family and spending time on the farm over the last kind of decade has just uh, really opened my eyes to a whole new culture. Mm, and yeah. it's just beautiful. Yeah. Well, listen, you've seen a lot of culture on your trip. <laughs> I'm dying to see it. I mean, I thoroughly, I absolutely love the show anyway. Um, and just everybody's experience. You two should do it. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get Colleen and Ruth to do it! <laughs> oh, I cannot think of anything I'd like to do less. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine me going, sorry, can I plug my hair dryer in? <laughs> <laughs> Don't put that idea into anyone's head. But listen, we love watching you. Jeremy, welcome to Lose Women. Lovely Thank to you so meet much. you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Kerry. <laughs>